about uh, once uh, you mentioned that uh, it doesn't actually matter what your inner state is. Uh, are you happy or are you sad or whatever? But uh, I felt like for some time I was in that state that it's like it, did, it didn't matter what happens to me. I didn't uh, relate uh, to what was happening inside me, thoughts or whatever. It, it, I, I can't say that it felt good. It's it feels uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, I I even can say if I like it or not. But after that, uh, some uh, events in my life happened, and it took uh, an unexpected turn for me. And I suddenly started to care a lot about what's happening and uh, what's happening inside me. And uh, now I like I'm feeling like. Uh, heaviness inside me and I cannot I, I just it's like automatic I just uh, keep fighting with it and I, I can't stop fighting this uh, uh, these heavy feelings inside me heavy or heaven heavy heavy, heavy. like heavy. No, not good <laughs> ah, I think you're saying heaven and I was ah, like, sorry, why, is he, why is he fighting heavenly experiences <laughs> yes yes that would be stupid <laughs> No, it's like as if something came up, I don't know, maybe from the childhood or something like like some kind of big heavy emotions and I, I can just uh, watch them, I, I start to react to them, so it, 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 and I feel like I'm stalled in this it, it's, it doesn't go away, it, it is not changing I, I just, um, I'm not sure what the angle here. <clears throat> what, sorry? I'm not sure what, what to do here. Yeah. Guess, it's not that I'm feeling really bad or really depressed. It's, a, it's, a, it's just, I, I'm experiencing this heaviness, like uh, as if life is stalled. Um, it's not, I, I don't know how to explain this. The simple words are it's just like some heavy feelings that suddenly came up and uh, I just can uh, cannot not to react on them. I, I start like automatically I start to fight them. Yeah. What would you like me to say to this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can say I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can give me maybe some perspective. Perspective how to how to what's the best way to behave when you find yourself in a situation like this yeah but i don't know it's whatever happens <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 firstly i don't know what leads to what no but nobody knows the movement of things no it's like no thing can know the movement of everything so it's just an illusion uh, that I can see a cause and their reaction, all this. Yes, this. and it's, a, it's based on a language that is so incredibly limited. Like if we got a microscope out now and we, we examined your body, for example, and we, we looked really closely at it, we'd never even find an edge. Like scientists don't even know where thinking is or how thinking appears. And yet we spend so much time trying to think about how to act or the best way to act when when everything that we've assumed every part of our language is made up is based on already a, a false a falseness on a lie. So first of all, you believe there is a belief in Sky that he does action. But how? How do you do action? It's uh, well, I just do it. <laughs> how though? Because if we're going to assume... No, you, can't, you can't say how you move your hand, you but just then, move your hand. But then if, so then if we take that as a point, a reference point, we don't know how the hand moves, but yet we spend years suffering over the, uh, the concept that we didn't move our hand at the right time. Or that mm -hmm. we should be moving our hand at a certain time. So at the moment, there's discomfort coming up, and then there's the added thoughts of, what should I do about it? But are yes. you sure that you're the doer? 
<laughs> Are you sure that you even exist? But why is the illusion is so strong that I can do things? It feels feels sometimes. It totally feels sometimes that I can do things like, like? I can lighten my mood a bit on a rainy day, or I can get myself a little bit more depressed than I'm actually is. <laughs> how, and how do you do that? So a thought Just comes. A, a power of will or something. <laughs> so how do you do will? How do you do thoughts? It's just happening. If it's just happening, and when we're speaking about it, your answer is it's just happening. Then why would you even contemplate that some you could do something differently? I don't know. Because it's just happening <laughs> but too. Why? Why? Uh, why? Why I want to see something differently? Because that's what's happening actually. Because, <laughs> like, because because the the human robot is programmed that way. It's just it is a robot, but it's programmed to work in a certain way. And most humans in our society believe they're separate individuals and believe that they're acting independently. And then they then loads of suffering thoughts and feelings come up because life doesn't go the way they want it. And they believe they're having a life and that they're in relationship with life rather than who we actually are is not a somebody in time, but life itself. Yeah, I felt that, but it went away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it was nothing to do with you, it coming or it going away. The you is something that comes and goes as well. So... <laughs> I'm just trying to think of some advice that I can even give to myself because it's natural that you try to avoid uh, unpleasant okay. white states. So what, what advice could you give yourself then? Call, ask you. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. But, but if, if I don't give an answer then, then what's another idea that you could I tell? To, well, I'll deal with it <laughs> with no answer, but it's it's nice talking. It yeah. helps <laughs> anyway, yeah. even yeah. without a direct answer. It's it's it's, yeah. it's helping. Well, that's a, it, was, it was so nice that like uh, some things were were happening, and I didn't uh, react on them in any way. It was it was uh, like it wasn't pleasant, but it was like liberating. It will, it, but now I feel some opposite of liberation. I feel trapped. But I think that that was just an experience of a person not reacting. Maybe. Like, like who, who's hearing these the this sound now? Who's looking? <laughs> I, how can I tell? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I. I don't. I don't know, but I still feel that somebody <laughs> that somebody is looking and somebody is speaking. Yeah. Whereas, really, that somebody is appearing in in life, which, like, the somebody is appearing and disappearing in this, and all that ever is is this. It's the opposite way round. The suffering comes when you believe you are something that's in movement. When the when there's that belief appearing that I am something. And then conflict starts because suddenly you're a motion, you're a feeling or a sensation, you're an idea of what should be or shouldn't be. Yes, yes. That's the conflict I have. And I, I have a strong idea that I don't want to feel that these feelings should not be happening. But yeah. they are. <laughs> and, that, and that's what's happening. And it cannot ever be any different from what it is. Yeah, but I, can, I still can accept them. <laughs> no, the person never will. The person's job is to always look for something better. That's what the person set up to do, to look around the environment. Originally, it was just about survival and looking at the environment in, in terms of survival and how to make a better survival. And then it came a personal thing. Then it started looking at itself and how to make itself a better thing, a better person. And then the agony really begun. And we now have all these millions and millions of people that are very depressed and suffering because they're always trying to be a perfect person. They have an idea of what they want to be, and then I have an idea of what I want to feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I don't want I just. Sometimes it's just a little bit hard. Yeah, waking, when, waking. When, when there is a resistance. Yeah, yeah. 
And especially when there's been a lot of focus on the emotions and especially in the spiritual world, we focus so much on what we feel and what the emotions are. And then if there's not perfect emotions, then the person um, suffers because it's trying to scramble to get different emotions. Yeah, you're right. And there's so much focus on them. <laughs> yeah, you're a problem, right? There is no advice. <laughs> ah, I don't even know what advice I gave. It just came out. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Oh, thanks, nice. guys. Sky. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Bye.